Hey, what's going on guys? Super Kitchen Dog just here. Now, um, there's been some news involving around with Nintendo lately, as of the, from a couple days ago, when it's been confirmed about more about an NX release date, more NX support, uh, the new Zelda game, and a couple other stuff that we'll get to that I will that we're about to cover. And um, this really piqued my interest, so I was like, why not? I'll just cover it for myself. I haven't looked at any of this, so we're about to get into it right now. Link will be in the description as usual. So it'll be two. Also, it'll be also um, two news articles in one. So there you go. New Zelda game delayed to 2017, but adds NX support. That was one thing that people were probably uh, have, were highly speculating that the, that the upcoming Zelda for Nintendo for for the Wii U would also be released for the NX as well. So now it's actually confirmed. I believe this now actually confirms this. Nintendo announced on Wednesday that the latest game in the Legend of Zelda franchise has been delayed to 2017 to improve the product quality. The game had previously been scheduled for Wii U for 2016. In addition, Nintendo announced that a version for for its next generation platform, codenamed NX, will go on sale simultaneously with the Wii U version. The NX platform is slated for release in March 2017. Okay, that was another thing that was confirmed not too long ago. Um, the NX platform was confirmed to be released in, in March of 2017, so we're not that long away from now. We're not that long until... Um, until 2017. I mean, time flies by very fast when you really, when you really think about it. It's like one day, it's it's like one week. It's like last week it was like 2010. A couple days later, it's 2013, and now it's 2016. I can't I can't believe it's almost already almost May. <laughs> um, but anyways, moving on from that. Uh, this looks like just the rest of it is um, stuff. Yeah, it's stuff we already know about. So. Uh, enough from this, we're going to go to the next one, which was this, that caught my eye. Which was this. Nintendo plans apps for Fire Emblem and Animal Crossing. Links with, now this really piqued my interest because I'm really curious to see how this will be, how this will be like when it comes to, um, when it comes to Nintendo for their, their app, for the said apps of, uh, Fire Emblem and Animal Crossing. And it's pretty cool that they're actually doing Fire, out of all their franchises, I'm glad that they actually chose Fire Emblem as one of them. I'm actually pretty. Ha I'm actually pretty. That's. I'm actually pretty happy about that. <laughs> Sorry for the stuttering a little bit right there. Um, mobile game slated for this fall. Nintendo announced that at its financial results briefing on Wednesday that it plans to launch the mobile apps for Fire Emblem and Animal Crossing this fall. Nintendo of America and Nintendo of Europe also announced the games. The Fire Emblem app will be more accessible compared to the previous Fire Emblem games, but Nintendo said that it aims for uh, to aims to offer the great value of a, of a role-play strategy game. Okay, so this makes me wonder, uh, what he means by more accessible compared to previous Fire Emblem games? This makes me wonder what it's all about. Like, um, like what is it talking about? Like, when it comes to accessibility, what could it possibly... Like, um... Are we gonna get into more, um, like more characters or more content compared to previous Fire Emblem titles? Because that, if if it's gonna be like that, that's gonna be a very very big and heavy game. Especially if you're gonna download it to your phone too. It's gonna be a very big game. <laughs> Plus, makes you wonder. Based on the based on the symbol, t based on the symbol too. This looks like this doesn't really look like much. I mean, I probably have to do some um, off-screen research about it, but I'm pretty sure um, I've not seen that crest before. But, um, I'll probably look into into more of it later. Or if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Um, and of course, the Animal Crossing, too. This one, actually, uh, I know I'm not that... I'm not very huge into Animal Crossing, but it is a fun game. So, I'm pretty hype about that one, too. The Animal Crossing app will be connected to the world of Animal Crossing from Nintendo's dedicated gaming systems. Nintendo stated that users will find increased enjoyment from playing both games. Both apps will have more game elements than Miitomo. Okay, so that's so it's gonna be a, so it's gonna be hella huge compared to Mitomo, <laughs> and cause that that will tie more closely to Nintendo's dedicated game business. Nintendo launched the first Super Nintendo in March, and at its reach more than 10 million users worldwide. Nintendo plans to launch approximately five smart devices by by the end of March 2017. Okay, um, I mean we already have Mitomo, and then we have these two, and now we have these two. So that makes three. So that makes three out of five. Makes me wonder what the other two are gonna be. I'm not sure if Pokemon... I'm not sure... I don't think Pokemon Go counts, though. I don't think so. Anyway, um... But yeah, this really... This is really interesting, because, um... I, uh... Because first and foremost, like, I couldn't even get... I couldn't even get Mitomo on my, um... 
on my regular phone for several reasons, because uh, um, it did state that not all Android devices are compatible with it. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna change phones. I mean, it's fine. I'm probably gonna someday, probably in the late spring, early summer, I'm probably gonna get a new get a new and different phone. Probably possibly. Um, and it's a and then even funnier. Mitomo is actually compatible on one of my older phones, which is very, which is very far behind in like graphics and other couple and a couple other stuff, which I find it just like, oh my god, really? <laughs> but anyway, but who knows why? Who knows why this is like? Who knows why it's like that? But anyways, um, but yeah, with this, but with us in mind, and then just these mobile titles, and then Z Zelda sadly getting another, getting yet another delay because. I mean, Alan was stated in a previous, in a previous interview that um, that the Zel that the new Legend of Zelda was going to be delayed because of all the ideas that ca that came up, and there was going to be so there was going to be like the I suppose going to be I think he's going to say it was going to be like the the best and new the best Zelda when it comes to the new generation. I think I don't exactly remember. Don't quote me on that. I don't. <laughs> but um. But yeah, I'm very hyped for Legend of Zelda 2, like, the new Zelda, I've, um, I've been playing a whole lot of the older Zelda games just to get, just to keep myself in the hype of Legend of Zelda 2, um, so, uh, I'm gonna leave it off there, let me know what you guys think in the comments of, um, whether you think if, um, movie, like, what do you, like, what do you guys gonna, like, what do you guys think about the NX launching in 2017, do you think it should have launched sooner, do you think... Do you think there's? Do you think? What do you think about um, Legend of Zelda for Wii U or these mobile apps? Do you think it's gonna? Be, do you think they're gonna be great? Do you think be? Meh? Do you, or do you think they're gonna turn out like bad? Or do you think they're gonna turn out bad? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll. And of course, as usual, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Jimata.